Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name's Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really reasonable name. At least I think it's pretty reasonable. <clears throat> All right, boys and girls, let's get down to it. It's a new month. It's November. Wow. Where has the time gone? Boy, I'm pretty impressed. Been reading stories for a while now. Time just keeps on going and going. Well, let's do our checklist. Boys and girls, have you taken your baths or your showers? Check. Have you brushed your teeth? Are they shiny and gleamy and sparkly and clean? Check. You have your PJs on, your favorite PJs, I hope? Check. What about cuddle buddies? You got your cuddle buddies with you? Got a bunch of them just piled up on here with me right now? Check. Oh, let's see what else. What else, what else? Did you give your I love you's, your hugs, your kisses uh, to your family members and your pets in the house? Check. And of course, did you say your prayers? If you haven't said your prayers yet, make sure you say your prayers <clears throat> before you drift off to sleep into dreamland, okay? Check. Because now it's time for a bedtime story that will hopefully help you get ready for just such a thing. Tonight's story is entitled... Little Blue Truck Leads the Way, and it is written by Alice uh, Sherry, not sure how to say that last name, and it's illustrated by Jill McElmurray, McElmurray, I'm not sure, I'll just, excuse me if I'm butchering the last names. But on the first name, we got a lady named Alice that wrote the book and a lady named Jill that um, did the uh, illustrations and then also has that fancy cursive that uh, kind of throws me off a little bit. But nonetheless, here we go. Horn went beep, engine purred. Friendliest sounds you've ever heard. All right. Little blue truck rolled into the city. Beep, beep, beep. Isn't it pretty? Ooh, little blue truck rolled into the city. Towering buildings scraped the sky. Beep, said blue. The city is high. Yes, you got tall. Buildings in the city, yes you do. They are pretty tall and big. Zoom! Roared trucks down the avenue. The city is fast, said Little Blue. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Shovel on, Shorty! yelled a double-decker bus. With big red letters, rides are us. You guys see this? That bus came through. You see what that bus tried to do? Man. A grocery truck gave his horn a blast. Move it, bud. I'm first, you're last. Wow. Boy, that traffic getting a little bit rough out there, huh? A little blue. Little Blue is one of the little country trucks. Wooey, 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 went a siren. Coming through, busy police car, things to do. That's a shame. Y'all see that? Swish, swash, swoosh, went a big street sweeper, hollering, hey! Better move, little beeper. Man, that's a lot of traffic pushing its way through the city, huh? Mm -hmm. Make way, yelled a limousine. The longest car you've ever seen. I've got his honor in the mayor inside. I'm important. Move aside. Okay. You see that limousine, guys? Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Cars and trucks were all in a tangle. Everyone started to shout and wrangle. Ooh, look at this, y'all. Look at this. Y'all see all those cars? I wonder how many cars that is. Y'all see all those cars? Man, it's a lot of cars. Man, I tell you. Up roared a taxi. Screech! Went the brakes. Stop! Yelled Blue. For goodness sake. You might be fast and I might be slow, but one at a time is the way to go. Agreed. Ain't nobody in that big of a rush to get anywhere or go anywhere or do anything. Now they got to try to run each other over trying to get to where they're going. You tell them, Blue. Me first, said the limo, all puffed with pride. Then he gave a cough <coughs> and his engine died. Oh, man. He was stuck right there with the mayor inside. Beep, said Blue. Would you like a ride? Ah, oh, Blue to the rescue. Oh, shoot, nah. Oh, that prideful limousine broke on down on them streets. That Blue said, oh, I got you. <clears throat> Everybody watching gave a shout when the door swung open and the mayor stepped out. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Hey. Ooh, ah, oh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. His honor climbed right up on Blue and gave a speech the way mayors do. My friends, he said, what wonderful luck. This good advice from a little blue truck. One at a time is what we'll do. So single file, folks. Follow blue. By the way, this might be over you guys' head, but when I look at little blue, I think of Sanford and Son. So I, I gotta say, all right, let me stop. Anyway, trucks and buses got in line with vans and taxis, and it all went fine. A taxi let a van go past. The double-decker bus said, I'll go last. Nice. They working it out. That's so much better. Because it was starting to seem a little bit crazy at the beginning of the story, huh? That's good. I'm glad they working it out. Look like it's a car parade now. Oh, would you look at that? A marching band joined the big parade. Mm -hmm. Boom! Went the drums and the trumpets played. I don't know why I came up with that, but there you go. They rolled along the avenue and everyone waved to Little Blue. Oh, yeah. Because Little Blue was the man. He got everybody together. They clapped their hands and yelled hooray for the little blue truck who led the way. Good for him. Okay, I'm done, y'all. I'm done. <laughs> so you can ask your parents who was Sanford and Son. Fred Sanford. Who was Fred G. Sanford? Oh, look at him on the last page. Hold on. Look at him, heading out, heading out. And normally, I read the back of the book at the beginning, but for some reason, I don't know why I didn't tonight, but I'm going to read it now anyway. It says, beep, beep. The big city sure is speedy, noisy place for a country truck like Blue. With everyone pushing to be first, soon there's a giant traffic jam. Luckily, Little Blue truck comes to the rescue <clears throat> in true blue style. The new adventure makes <clears throat> working together and taking turns more fun than ever. Yes, because it turned out to be a car parade and a marching band joined in. So much better than a traffic jam. I'll take a car parade any day. Good book. I like it. 
I have to go back in my history and see if I've read the one about Christmas yet because that's coming up. And even if I have read it earlier in the season, out of season, I'm going to read it again because Christmas is coming up. Anyway, boys and girls, there we go. Well, don't have a traffic jam in your dream. Don't do. Don't get all jum jumbled up in your dreams tonight. Let me get these guys together. Ooh, there we go. Hug them tight. All right, boys and girls, it's your time now. I hope you enjoyed the story. There's something you could dream about, though. Driving in the big city. Seeing all the awesome cars and people. You could be a part of a parade. Okay, you could lead the parade. It's all up to you. Just some suggestions. All you have to do is close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about, and then relax, let your body be still and calm and quiet. Drift on off to sleep, off to dreamland. All right, the sooner I get done talking to you, the quicker you can get there. So I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Bye-bye.